How do people? Oh, we're all good. So today, what are we making? Let me tell you, baby. We are going to be making homemade turkey burgers from scratch. Well, I'm not actually going out and catching the turkey myself. But everything apart from that is from scratch. So we've got some mince earlier on. As you can see here, this is 5% mint, I believe. We've got some natural breadcrumbs. They're very important. And that's all you need. Mince and breadcrumbs. And then whatever you want to add to it in terms of seasoning. So we will be adding garlic granules. Um, this is a must. We only have a little bit left. We need to get some more. Some Liam Perrins, original and genuine Liam Perrins, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, you don't have to put it in. I like the taste of that. Some hot paprika. Uh, da, 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 da. A little bit of parsley. Some New York buffalo seasoning from Aldi. Oh, and Schwartz. It's a Schwartz one. Oh, yeah. Possibly a little bit of chili powder when the phone wants to focus. Okay, let's get cracking. I'm going to chop this up and then we'll come back to you. Righty oh, daddy o. Oh. Once you've chopped up your mince nice and fine, which I have here, you can sort of see. It's cut up quite fine. A little bit there, maybe needs to break a bit more. It's time to add said seasonings. Whoa, drop the garlic. Don't drop the garlic, baby. Drop the garlic. Tip the garlic over. Wipe some garlic in there. When you look through the camera, the viewfinder, over to it, what you're putting in, it's so hard to judge. I'd sort of look around the camera. Then get your hot paprika. Again, you don't have to use these seasonings, it's just what I'm choosing to use. When it wants to come out, it's been an awkward get to that. We've had words about it's paprika, behave yourself. Right. Yep, there we go. Get in. Oh, bloody hell. Wait there, let's knock on the side. <coughs> Told you yesterday, Jamie Oliver doesn't have these issues, does he? He's got somebody there already, breaking up the bloody paprika for him. I need to get better stuff. Right, it should work better now. Here we go. Get that. Oh, might be too much. Oh well, we always put too much in anyways. Parsley now. Time for the parsley. Okay, parsley. Finally going in. After it was just disrupted by one of our waitresses. A.K.A. Tia, in and out of the bloody kitchen. Cheeky sod. Um, I was going to put some of this in. We're going to leave that. I don't want it too hot. I think there's enough paprika in there. We will put some chilli in there. Chilli, chilli, chilli. Chilli. Yeah, I mean, you, where would you find burgers that have this much seasoning in them? That's why I need to put me on burger joint. Oh, yeah. Lee's big burgers. Very original. And a little bit of New York buffalo seasoning. There you go. Now, all you need to do, and this is the main part, if you don't have any seasons at all, that's cool. That's completely your choice. But I do recommend not spilling breadcrumbs everywhere. Now, I do recommend putting some breadcrumbs in. It keeps all the mince together when you roll your burger. So you're going to mix it all together now. With one hand, as I'm doing. So I'm going to roll these out to two burgers. Because this is only a small pack of mince, so it's a one burger each. And I'll catch you in a sec. And here we have our burgers. These big boy burgers. Coming at you like Cleopatra. Hopefully these taste good. I had a turkey burger before, I don't think so. It's be interesting. And you just fry these off. Again, uh, we use frying on pretty much with all meals, even whether we're eating healthy or doing, you know, unhealthy mukbangs. We usually use that if we can. Uh, so I'll show you these in a bit, guys. Give them a go. Give your give Lee's big bird big give Lee's big boys big boy burgers a go. I'll show you the finished meal, guys. Take it easy. And here we have the burgers guys. So I started these off in the oven on a low heat just to seal it in a little bit rather than whacking them straight in a frying pan where they might have stuck. And now I'm just frying them off in the pan to finish the deal. Woohoo! Nearly but dinner time! Woohoo! Yeah baby! And here we have a 
finished burger, which this one will be mine. So I've got some hot chili sauce on there, lettuce, cucumber, cucumber and lettuce on the side. Yum yum, get in my tum tum. And here we have Ames with all the trimmings on, lettuce, onions, tomato and she'll probably have some mayonnaise or something on there. Stick a lid on it. Happy days. Hope you enjoyed guys, check out these burgers, make them yourself.